Hi Leos, my five sign Leos. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Make sure that you guys know that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all the collective here. Take what sticks and leave the rest for another Leo. Keep in mind, you know, you feel free to switch it. This is for the next 48 hours, okay? So if you guys like my content, if you like the way I read, if you like me to do more Leo readings, Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you very much, and let's get into this energy. So I do see some truthful, honest communication coming in for you, okay? You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. I do see someone wanting to sever a relationship here, okay? And this person is stressed out and worried, okay? Staying up all night, can't eat and can't sleep that. You know, somebody here may be lying, cheating, being sneaky, or doing something deceptive or manipulative here. But I do see <clears throat> victory and success happening for you. I do see you recovering from a breakup and you're cutting toxic people out of your life here, okay? You're showing up very strong in your energy. I feel like this communication is going to come in, <clears throat> excuse me, from your person or... You know, this is just some um, truth that came out or you may have found out something. And I feel like you're standing very strong in your energy here, Leo. Okay. And I feel like you may have closed the cycle out with this person here, okay. Because I feel like you and this person may have uh, strong chemistry or sexual, um, a lot of passion. Okay. And I feel like that cycle is being closed out right here. I also feel like something may have come to an end, okay between you and the person here and I do see a lot of travel happening for you here okay I also see you being very guarded and have your walls up and your guards up right now you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or an Aries here but I feel like you're not really trusting of this situation or this person or you know you're just being very guarded but I feel like you still have a little bit of fight left in you okay so I feel like you're not giving up with the nine of wands I also feel like whoever you're guarded up, you know, whoever your guard is up against, okay, this may be somebody that you walked away from, Eight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, okay, I do see there was some disappointment, there was some sort of, um, um, maybe emotional detachment here, but I feel like somebody did walk away, okay. You may have felt like you walked away from your twin or a twin flame connection, but I feel like this person, you know, um, they do see a lot of passion with you and they feel like, you know, you two are a twin flame. You may be living with this person or you may be engaged or married to this person or this person wants to propose marriage to you, whoever it is that you walked away from. <clears throat> For some of y'all, you could have walked away from someone that was already married. Okay, this person was juggling you and another person. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I'm saying this person may want to propose some sort of marriage or engagement to you. But I feel like that you're going back and forth about the situation. Maybe trying to weigh up the pros and the cons and see what you should do. Okay, because I feel like you're juggling a decision here. And I feel like that you may be hiding the way that you feel right now. Okay, but your person, you know, somebody here may have been juggling and keeping secrets. So you feel like your person would be juggling and still hiding things and keeping secrets from you and still being a player in and out of your life. So you're not sure what to do right now. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Clarify the Nine of Wands for the y'all's next 48 hours in love. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're pretty guarded, a, big, um, a new start with this person. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, you guys. So, um, like I was saying, with the Nine of Wands, I feel like you're pretty guarded and you're not really trusting of this new start. Okay, I feel like somebody wants a new start with you. They want to make something more tangible. Okay, maybe marriage here. Maybe marriage is on someone's mind here. Okay. Sorry about that, Leo. Like I was saying, you know, I feel like um, you 
you're not really trusting of this new start of this marriage. You may be side eyeing this person. You may be a bit paranoid, but I feel like your person was having some insecurities about this new start, about some sort of a marriage, or getting back to the happy place with you because you may have walked away or be emotionally detached from this person and became single. Okay, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You are here, Leo, showing up strong in your reading. Aries, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Last the Eight of Cups here for Leo, next 48. Oh, that's too many. That is definitely too many. But I feel like... When you walked away from this person, it has caused them a lot of conflict. I feel like um, a lot of drama has been put into play um, since you walked away, okay? You guys may have been fussing, fighting, and arguing, or there may be some tension between you two. You may be um, emotionally disconnected from this person, so there may be a lot of tension, or, you know, they're wanting to fight for the connection, five of, of wands here. Because I feel like you two may be living together or sharing resources, property together. You may have a family or some sort of uh, family dynamic here. There may be a children involved here. And I feel like you're walking away from the drama. Okay, you just want success and victory in your life here. You want to build. Okay, you want to um, leave a legacy. Okay, and I feel like a lot of options... You're going to have a lot of options in work and love. I feel like there's a lot of options coming towards you here, okay? But you may be, um, somebody wants to fight for the connection. They feel like you're the one. They feel like you have the whole package, Leo, which you are. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like, um... They want to have a legacy or build something with you or family or move in together or some sort of a marriage here. If you're not already married to this person. Yeah, and so I feel like this person may be a twin flame. Okay, that's confirmation. Yeah, I do feel like with this twin flame connection, you two may be living together. Okay, I feel like that um, you're coming up. You're showing up pretty defensive, okay? You put your foot down. You have boundaries. You may be pushing this person away or shunning them off here, okay? Because I feel like you're still healing, Leo. You're still healing from whatever happened between you and this person, temperance. And I feel like you are moving forward, okay? You're moving forward, and I feel like there is some self-improvement here. But I do feel like, you know... This person, they do want to give their excuse or um, they may feel as though they're putting, they're being put on the spot to give their excuse or defend themselves because I feel like somebody may have been accused of something here, okay? And I see you're still healing, Leo, okay? And this person, they do want to move towards you and work on the relationship with you. But I'm also seeing that this person wants to heal things with you moving forward and they want to move forward with you why is the seven of wands here clarify the seven uh, i'm sorry guys my kids in the background they fighting over some some damn toy i don't know what the hell's going on so i'm gonna just do a bonus for y'all why is the seven of wands here clarify the seven of wands for leo i don't know why it keeps falling out like this hold on you guys I'm so sorry about that, you guys. So, yeah. Um, let's see. We're supposed to clarify the seven of wands. Maybe dealing with the Sagittarius, Aries, or fellow Leo like yourself. Or this person may have fire prominent in their chart. Why is the seven of wands here? It just keeps coming out like four or five at a time, you guys. Yeah, this person... Whoever is being accused of something here... I feel like somebody um, is all up in their head, replaying things over and over again in their mind. Leo, be careful about being in this energy, okay? Get out of your head here because I feel like that's what's holding you back and keeping you stuck. For others of you, you know, this person, they feel very stuck, you know, because I feel like they're being accused of something. They may have done something and so they feel stuck, trapped. They feel blocked. There may have been some blocked communication or lack of information. 
going on here, okay? And I do feel like this person wants a second chance to be with you after some sort of an ending or betrayal that has happened here. Yeah, they want to send you some news or a message here. They want to reach out to you. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? Okay, we're dealing with the air sign. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is too many, but I'm just going to read them the best way I can. All right. This may be somebody. This may be somebody that you live with, share resources, property with, or somebody you work with or do business with. But I feel like they want to nurture the relationship, okay? And they do want to make you some sort of an offer, a peace offer. They may be sending you an unexpected message, a text. Or this person is wanting to tell you that they want to work on the relationship and have a new start. My kids just don't damn get it, okay? Um, they want to nurture the, the relationship and tell you about a new start or making you some sort of a peace offer, okay? Because I feel like this person feels like abandoned, neglected. There may have been a breakup, okay? Or you may have withdrawn your energy from this person and they feel left out in the cold by you. They feel like you turn your back on them to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there. And they feel as though you're cheating and lying, being sneaky or doing some sneaky things behind their back that they don't know about, okay? But I feel like, Leo, things are going to go in your favor. You're going to get your justice, okay? I also feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be balance brought back into your life, okay? This person, they want to make things fair, equal, and balanced. And they want to come back together. They want to have some sort of a union with you. They're going to be apologizing to you. Okay, because this person, they feel that they're addicted to you, okay? And they want to win you over. They want to win you at all costs. But I feel like they're devil ways or this devil energy that they're carrying. They made a bad decision, okay? And I feel like somebody is fighting their demons, you know. That's why they're playing these mind games or they have been playing mind games, lying, hiding things, being deceptive, being manipulative, okay? They were fighting with this devil energy here. Yeah, it's like the devil is, this person is still having some attachments to this devil energy, and they're fighting with it, okay? I feel like they do want to fight for the connection that's stuck on you, okay? And they may be tell, they may be coming to tell you this, and they're very worried and stressed out, have anxiety and depression that you may be lying, cheating, or just do the things that they they done, they're stressing out because they feel like you don't trust them, all right? Or there's, like, they're trying to figure out some sort of way that you can trust them, okay? They feel that you're very intuitive. You may be dealing with the parent of your child or mother figure or something like that. But I do feel like they want to make you some sort of a peace offering on offer about a new start here. Like I said, you may be getting an unexpected message or a text from this person. You may be married to this person, okay? For some of y'all, this person may be married. You may have walked away from someone that you were having conflict with, fussing, fighting, and arguing with because they were married, okay? That's another storyline for some of you. You may have been dealing with somebody that's married, okay? I feel like you may have wanted this person to walk away, but there, there may be conflict within themselves because they're married and they feel like they have an obligation may have children or something like that with this person that they're dealing with. They may be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is, you know, some prominent that you have in your chart or your person. Any messages from the Romance Oracle? Any messages from the Romance Oracle? Retreat. So you pulled your energy back. You was pulling back from somebody, okay, um, whom you had a lot of passion with. I feel like this person does want passion with you, but you may be pulling that away. Okay, because you feel there's some red flags there and the signs may be cautioning you. But this person does feel like you're their true love. Alright. Spirit wants you to know that it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay. Spirit wants you to basically flirt. Okay, let others know that you are interested in them. Let's get some channel messages. So I feel like this is somebody who you pull back passionately from because of some sort of red flags. Mm-hmm. You inspire me. 
I'm waiting patiently. Do I still have a chance? And at the bottom of the deck, I want to start over. So, you make this person blush when they come around you, when they talk to you, okay? But I feel like somebody is waiting patiently for you to make a move towards them, like with the Three of Wands. They want to communicate with you about forward movement or moving forward, but they feel like you're turning your back on them. You know, you're not paying them much mind here. And I feel like this person is waiting on you to make a move, alright? Because they want to know if they still have a chance um, to start over in the connection with you. This person does have uh, trouble opening up and expressing their love they, to you. They do have trouble with intimacy. And they want to make amends with you, okay? They want to make some sort of a peace offering. Okay, this person adores you. They admire you, okay? They can't get enough of you, all right? You guys may have children, but there may be children involved where you and your person can't spend a lot of time with each other, or this person may have been acting childish in the past, or they just act like a child, or there's children involved. Let's get a message from the angels, and then we're going to close out. Thank you guys so much. If this resonates with you or your partner, or if you can relate to this story, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you guys like the way that I read. If you guys like the content, if you want to see more Leo content, make sure you guys hit that like button. This is for the next 48 hours, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, Universal Energies. No? Okay, so Spirit is telling you no to something. Whatever question you are asking, the answer is no. Okay, because there may be an opportunity showing up for you here. Another opportunity or something like that. Okay, Spirit is approving that. This is in the near future. Why does spirit say no? Let's figure this out. Why does spirit say no? Spirit, why did you say no? Angels, ancestors, universal energies, please give me clear answer to this video. Why did you say no? What is no about? Reconsider. So, I don't... You may have been reconsidering it due to some red flags. Okay, and if you need guidance and assistance, ask your angels for help. Okay, whatever you're doing, don't stop. Keep going. Okay, you're doing a good job. I'm going to leave this right here for you, Leos. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel and welcome. If you have not already, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. If you like the way that I read, if you like the content, if you want to see me do more Leo readings. If it re resonates with you, your person, or if you could just relate to this story, make sure you guys give this reading a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn your post notification on all ALL so you won't miss out on any of the readings that I upload. And like I always say, if nobody has told you they love you today, Leo, I'm telling y'all, I love y'all so much. And until next time, bye, Leo. See you in the next reading. I'm going to be doing a bonus because my kids. They was loud as hell. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, Leo.